Right, another big word that you come across, um, well, hopefully you don't come across it, but you might come across this, is ketoacidosis. Um, in fact, b because it's related, there's a specific kind of ketoacidosis that is to do with diabetes. So it gets called diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA. Now, when this happens, you are in quite an advanced state and you are going to need medical intervention. Uh, you will be very dehydrated. You might be slurring your speech. You might be unable to coordinate how you move. Um, there's a bit of a sort of uh, well-known story that people suffering either from a hypo or from hyperglycemia can come across as if they're drunk. Um, so that's something you want to avoid. Um, having said that, another, another symptom of ketoacidosis is you can actually smell ketones on the breath. Um, acetone is a form, it's a sort of fruity smell, um, and, and that is on, that's another sign that you're going into ketoacidosis. So diabetic ketoacidosis is when you have you know, a high amount of ketones in your blood and your urine, and your body actually goes into what is called metabolic acidosis. Um, but essentially, if you're getting anywhere close to this, you should be getting immediate medical attention. Um, DKA is the primary cause of people with diabetes being brought into hospital. So it is something, and it just, if you're aware of it, you might be able to prevent it. Because at the end of the day, you, it's going to make you feel rubbish. You're probably going to end up in hospital, and you're going to lose a couple of days in an NHS ward, which is lovely. But, you know, if you can avoid that, then everyone's going to be happier.